Episode 62, The Locked Folder. All right, stop it, you two. Aiden knows what he's doing. Miles, hurry up and find a computer for him. Mr. Walker glared at his assistant to indicate that this was to be the end of the discussion. Although Miles was still angry, he couldn't disobey his boss. He gritted his teeth and left the counter. In a few moments, he returned with a computer for Aiden. Aiden moved his hands quickly. After a series of dazzling movements, he quickly connected the new computer to the broken computer with a few cords. Aiden, what are you trying to do? Mr. Walker looked at Aiden's movements in surprise and then guessed what he was trying to do. He was going to use the fully functioning computer to remotely control the other. This way, the other computer wouldn't need to be turned on. Damn it, Miles exclaimed. Why didn't I think of this? He looked defeated. Even if you had come up with this idea, you wouldn't be able to implement it like he is, Mr. Walker said as he pointed at Aiden. How impressive! Miles took a closer look at Aiden's operation interface. His eyes widened and he momentarily stopped breathing. Countless windows were open on the computer screen. Aiden was effortlessly switching between them, typing code faster than Miles could read it. His fingers were moving so fast that they seemed to blur in front of their eyes. The whole scene was like something out of a science fiction movie. Who was this kid? Computer maintenance, computing ability, plus one. Agility of both hands, plus one. Current progress, one out of ten. Current level, beginner. The fault has been repaired. You can now operate the target computer using the current computer. All the program windows suddenly disappeared, leaving only the desktop. But the desktop looked different now. It didn't belong to the computer Aiden was using. He had successfully connected to the target computer. Now Aiden just had to take care of the problems. In a matter of minutes, he was done. Amazing. Absolutely amazing, Aiden. This is unbelievable. Mr. Walker gave Aiden a big hug. Miles was dumbfounded. You actually did it. He thought of everything he'd said to Aiden earlier and felt ashamed. A person speaks through their actions, not their words, Aiden said. This hit Miles like a slap to the face. I think it's about time you stop looking down on people, Miles, added Mr. Walker. Miles felt even more ashamed. He lowered his head and said respectfully to Aiden, I'm sorry, sir. My actions are inexcusable. I will try to learn from you in the future. Miles had called him sir. Him, a high school student. This was enough to show how much his opinion had changed. Aiden waved his hand, indicating that there were no hard feelings. He turned back to the computer table. There were a few locked folders on the desktop. Maybe this was why the customer didn't let anyone turn on his computer. Because he didn't want them to see what was in these folders. Was it possible that something shady was going on here? A variety of different possibilities came to Aiden's mind. He couldn't suppress his curiosity. System, if I look at these folders, the owner won't be able to tell, right? In your current state, the owner will not find out what you are doing on this computer. Aiden was relieved. He decided he just had to know what was going on and started to break the password lock on the folder. Although the kind of lock that had been used was fairly complicated, it wasn't difficult for Aiden to break. Five seconds later, he was in. Aiden, how did you do that? Mr. Walker asked. The teacher and his assistant looked at the computer screen, astonished. Then all three of them took a closer look at the contents of the folder and gasped. 